Right, in this video, I'm going to start a new series which is called Statistics for AS and A Level. First, I'm going to tell you about who the course is for. This course is for people who are doing A Levels and would like to take the Statistics optional modules or for people who've got a bit of knowledge in maths and want to learn how it's applied in real life or just simply want to understand a bit about statistics. Right. Textbooks for the course. Now, for the textbooks, we've got three exam boards at Excel, EQA and OCR. If you're following a particular exam board, I would recommend getting the newest books for that exam board. And the modules, these are the modules here. Or if you just want a general book on statistics, just look for a nice thorough book that says it's for ESOA level. Right, so that's that. Exam boards and modules. Right, I'll only be particularly working on these three exam boards because, to my knowledge, the the biggest exam boards going, not all of us, but they're more or less the same. And eventually we'll cover everything, they just vary a bit. And you can find out from your teacher or from the internet what is on that particular exam board. So, it's still easy enough to know which videos are useful the ones you would need. Right. Pure maths needed for AS and A level statistics. What? Um the pure maths we need is well it's helpful if you have some knowledge of arithmetic, even though you can't actually use a calculator for statistics and algebra is needed for some of the topics and a very few of the topics even a bit of calculus so when we come to them if you haven't got the knowledge of those subjects or haven't studied them i'll tell you and put a link to the appropriate videos on them okay the main topics and statistics let's know about some of this if you need to say any of it, you can just pause the video and read it. Because I'm going to talk about the main topics now. In fact, it's introduction to statistics. Main topics, calculations. With data. For example, averages, mean, 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 median, mode, which we'll learn at GCSE, we're going to go back over them again, and measures of spread, which are things like the standard deviation, the range, and the uh, quartiles. And another topic is representing data. should be the other way around, I've made a mistake there, but it doesn't matter. So representing data. Once you've collected data, you can represent it by using a bar chart, a pie chart, whatever is the most appropriate for what you want to find out about the data you've collected. And the other one's obviously collecting data. So collecting data, before you can represent data, you need to collect the data. So you can collect data by questionnaires, 
by doing experiments or whatever is really appropriate for the data you want to collect. And the final topic, main topic for statistics, is probability. That's about if you want to predict how likely something is of happening. Let's see, you want to predict getting a certain score from a dice, so or you want to predict if you've got how what chance you've got of winning the lottery or something like that, let's see. So there's a little introduction about what statistics actually is. Statistics deals with data, cal calculating with averages and spread of data, representing data, collecting data, and probability, which is making predictions about data. So basically statistics is all about data. Okay, so that's the introduction. If you have any questions, you can leave them on the video.